Hello and welcome to Facts and Action YouTube channel. So we will be bypassing Google account on Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime. So let's get started. First of all, you have to connect it with Wi-Fi network or internet. Just to make sure we will see that we got a Google account. Click next. I agree to all terms, conditions. Verify your account with your Google account. Let's go back now. We already know we got a Google account. Press and hold the touch screen with two fingers. It will turn on talk back. So now the talk back has been on. So now draw L. Click on talk back settings. Try again L and pass that. Turn off this warning message. Slide down. Click on help and feedback. Click on about switch access for Android. Click on this YouTube video. Click on the right top corner in the, in the area. You can click on this clock kind of sign. It will open up YouTube or browser. So cancel this update. Just write down here. Sidebar. APK. So we will be downloading this file. It's downloaded from the first website. Download the latest version. Download. It's downloading. So now click on bookmarks. Click on history. And click on download history. Here you'll see my files. Click on that. Now click on downloads. You will see the file has been downloaded. Click on that. Click select this package installer. Okay. Settings. Turn on unknown sources. Okay. Install. That's the first thing we will be installing. Open this. So now slide from left to right on this edge or in this corner. You see here sidebar click on plus sign you will be adding gmail here setting is already here now click again on chrome browser accept and continue now thanks if the chrome browser is not here you can add it through this plus sign here okay so now click on this address bar and write down here we in ROM FRP the first website click on that one slide down here click on FRP win ROM continue allow slide down back you see here the tabs click on this translation tab and here allow this and press ok to download so you don't have to open that slide from left to right again on this corner or this edge click on settings slide down you see here apps click on that click on three dots in the right top corner turn on show system apps slide down and disable google 
account manager and google play services so let's see google account manager click on that for stop disable go back click on google play services it's off so you cannot disable that it's in gray color so to turn on this disable button and force stop just go back go back and click on lock screen and security slide down click on other security settings and here will be device administrators click on that turn off find my device deactivate go back go back go back now again click on apps Click on three dots in the right top corner. Show system apps. Slide down. And find Google Play services. Now you see you can disable and turn off Google Play services. Swipe from left to right this we need to add one more file here just for temporary one, one more app is my files click on this my file folder and here we see frp vn rom apk is already downloaded click on settings turn on announcers again install okay so press on done now again swipe from left to right in this corner see a sidebar click on gmail close this warning message got it click here you don't have to enable that just click here click on add email address click here again click on gmail or google here Now write down here your new email, which your email you have right now. Type your password, whatever password you have for your email. I agree that's it so now swipe again from left to right in this corner click on settings click on apps click on all apps click on disabled click on these three dots in the right corner show system app click on google account manager enable that go back click on google play services enable that go back and that's it just turn off turn on the device or start or you can go back to the main screen or the setup wizard screen and start the setup wizard it's already connected with wi-fi network click on start next next so I hope this method gonna work for you guys. If you like this video and it worked for you, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos. We really appreciate your time and support. If you have some other models and have problem with your other models, just don't forget to click in the links below in the description. We have different models and a lot of other models are coming soon. Just stay tuned and subscribe for more videos.
it will take a little time maybe a minute or more than that but it will let you bypass the google account on this device So now we see account added. So we have added our account here. Click on next. Not now, you don't want to uh, add a password or lock tap to your phone. Slide down, click on skip. Skip that also. Finish that. there finish okay so here you, what you have to do is slide from top to bottom and click on settings here or you can go to the settings menu um, so here try to remove the google account if it's in your device clouding accounts Accounts, click on Google, click on three dots in the top corner, remove account, remove account, go back and slide down, click on general management, reset, factory, data reset. So that's what you have to do, otherwise your phone will act crazy or it may not work prop properly. So thank you again guys for your time and support please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you have any question or suggestion please leave us a comment and we will be trying to get back to you as soon as possible
All right. So we, we can see now here accessibility options. So that means there is no more Google account on this model. So let's get started. You don't have to uh, connect with the uh, Wi-Fi. Just click on next. Skip anyway. Next. 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 Not now. Skip. Finish later that's it thank you again guys for watching our videos please don't forget to subscribe for more videos